Hello friends, welcome back. This is a new story of like almost every automation script, whether that is a Selenium automation script or uh, any kind of UI automation script. That whenever a small UI change happen or some like major UI change happen, our automation script used to go in backlog. Nobody like to maintain that because the region, uh, the, the major region is that locators and XPath get change and then if there are like thousands of or hundreds of selectors locators experts are there it is really difficult to verify one by one whether that's this got changed or it is working or not it's a really pain and nobody like to do this tedious task and that's the one of the major reason that most of the automation script used to go in backlog whenever there is a ui change happen and then this is another major reason that uh, in industry like most of the companies used to have thousands of automation script but nobody is there to maintain that because of course like that's true that if you will have to uh, verify let's say in one script there are 100 x path written and you verify uh, you want to verify them you have to execute that test case find out okay this is breaking here verify that fix that then again rerun again check that okay this got failed at this particular point you copy that x path then verify so this is such a big pain point that none of us like to do that so for this let's discuss how you can uh, solve this problem how selector sub has solved this problem to help you guys whenever there is a ui change how you can automatically fix your automation script how you can verify whole script just in a second or or say like how you can verify your thousands of x path written in a page let's say locator page how you can verify all those x path in one go just in a blink so let's see this so very first thing like let's say here is our script and in some way like it is written something and so many selectors and locators are written there in this page and now what you have to do let's say <coughs> or suppose this is a page let's say practice page and some ui got changed because of that locators got changed and we wanted to make sure that all the x path which are there in this page are fixed and working they are not changed because of like their occurrence is not changed because of like ui change so we want to verify them so what you have to do very first thing open that page on which you want to verify your script for which these selectors are because of course like one will be uh, home page one could be home page selectors could be like of home page look uh, product page any particular courses or practice page so whichever page that is so you have to go to that page go to that page let's say practice page <coughs> here right click and open selector so and uh, suppose you have to verify like uh, in this page you have to verify that lo those locators okay so what you have to do here there's a setting button you see that here some kind of like tools button click to verify multiple x path so you have to click on this then this window is open here there's a click button click to paste all x path and now paste your complete script here you need not to like segregate those x path copy x path one by one so now here what you do select complete script copy it go back to your browser and paste here in selector so you see that we haven't pasted like x path one by one and now here you have to pass the command which is there written on top of your x path so this command could be something like <clears throat> Like let's say this is you are using driver dot find element by dot x path. So copy this command, come here, paste it here, and wherever you have written x path in your command, replace that with x path value keyword. This will be one time thing I will show you, and then this is x path value. So it will show red color will be removed, and it is showing correct. And in fact, like when you will hover, it will show you what you need to do here. Then submit. And you see that it has fetched all the x path from your script and showing the result that this is one matching node, zero matching node. 
so what you can do now click on edit button and fix these x path and then you can replace in your script this way you can verify your complete script i mean you can verify all the x path of your script just in one go you need not to waste any time isn't it really amazing and this way you your script is never gonna go in backlog that will always be there and whenever there is a small ui change happen anything happen you can just fix it suppose <clears throat> like here you can see that i just we can just click on this edit button here verify your x path you want to change because this is showing zero you can go and fix that x path and you can just replace in your script isn't it so easy so this you can do now you must be thinking this is not the command which we are using in our automation framework yes absolutely most of the people must be using a uh, locator space like at find by something like this command so that is also possible what you have to do just simply click here paste your complete script and whichever command you are using here let's say you are using this command so copy this come back here and paste this here and wherever xpath is written replace that with xpath value keyword and submit and it will show you the result so now it has picked these xpath which are written with this command so there are six xpath written six or seven three four five six written with this command so it has fished fetched all six and they are all matching if anyone would have let's let me just change something suppose our ui got changed and now it is not courses it is course and suppose this is not pro plans it is pl plan so let's see now these two x path it should show zero so what we can do click on add it and paste and you see that now this time we need not to set the command because that is saved only once you need to say uh, set now submit here you see that those two x path are showing zero matching nodes so here you click on edit button i hope this is visible let me zoom in now you see it is showing zero we can fix it and that way you would be able to make it correct and now you can replace it in your code same way you click here and fix this as like it was not this like this zero fix it and you can just replace in your code so this way you would be able to easily verify your automation script in one go no matter what command you are using so this will make sure that your automation script will not go in backlog because of ui change happen this is very very useful feature and if you are using selector sub pro this feature is even more advanced you here <laughs> this is showing the maintenance verify multiple x path click on this click on edit come here copy this complete script paste it here here you need not to type the command you can select from here and suppose this is just this one so you can replace this and submit boom so this is even more advanced and more time saver features are there in selector sub pro so if you haven't tried that do try selector sub pro that can save even lot more time for you guys so this way our automation script will never go in backlog and you will always be easily able to verify your complete script your all x path in one go that's really amazing and another thing like if you have just written some x paths x paths only what you can do like let's say you have just x path you don't have any command so that also is possible you just paste all the x paths here turn off this command now command need not to pass because you they are on all x path submit and it will show the, show you the result similarly like uh, <clears throat> also you can like copy all the these rows you can download if you have any time any point of time you forget how to use this you can always watch the video tutorial here you can download this data in excel file also so all those features are available here you can copy one by one you can delete this one by one same all things are available here in free version as well but yeah <clears throat> so this is how you can use this feature it is really really helpful and very useful feature do try this this will help a lot it will help you to save your a lot of time and if you have any scripts in backlog your uh, your uh, like 
lot of UI changes are happening in your company very frequently then in that case it is very very helpful and uh, you will not have to face this kind of issue that your script is going in backlog and you guys are not able to maintain that so now you can easily maintain your automation script with the help of selectors of and selectors of pro these features where you can verify your complete script all the xpath in one go so i will request you please like this video let others know about this incredible feature and innovative features and if you have any suggestion, do let me know in the comment section. We'll try to uh, implement that feature here in Flactor Sub. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and uh, so that you don't miss any uh, upcoming tutorial like this, informative and more innovative products. Thank you. Thanks for watching.